I'm in Mexico with, with my friend Zach, and we're exploring a little bit. And uh, we get to this really remote location, and and there are these ruins there. And like, I don't think anyone's been to these ruins in years. Like, it's in the middle of the jungle, and there's a, this temple in the middle of these ruins, and we climb up to the top, and I reach down to just feel the sediment, and. It's, I notice it's really coarse, and I wish that I knew this before I got there, but there's a thing called micro-media, and there are little, small, microscopic, you know, one millimeter smaller meteorites. You know, they're not all huge rocks, and apparently the whole globe just gets dusted with this cosmic danger, and I, that, it, it's hard to identify in, in urban locations because it gets mixed up with like construction shavings and, uh, and other like uh, iron debris that, that may come off something. So when you're in a really remote location, I think it's easier to identify, especially when you've got a large flat surface that's just been exposed to the, the sky for <laughs> maybe centuries. So maybe next time I can get one of these micrometeorites and make a miniature terrarium with uh, the tardigrades and maybe a little bit of algae and some salt water and replicate the conditions that you might see on an alien planet, but in a small little tiny terrarium. Because if we're telling the truth, I don't really have room to take care of a pet anyway, but maybe I can keep a couple of, uh, keep a couple of tardigrades alive in a, in a, in a Martian terrarium. I don't think it'd be crazy hard, so much as just crazy, but to make like a, a, a sealed glass terrarium uh, with some micrometeorites, algae, tardigrades, maybe some, uh, maybe a little bit of salt water. Uh, I think it could work. So this is still a work in progress, but if you want the files, I'll have them available. Uh, I want to do a donation to uh, uh, renewable energy, kite energy, which is a field I think will do really well in the future. So yeah, follow me at Mowall Design, basically anywhere.